Hello, and welcome to this software presentation of VSoft Communications Probe 4 Signal Propagation Software. I'm John Gray, VSoft's Vice President, and the uh, purpose of this demo is to give you an idea of how the program works, you know, what it looks like, uh, without going into too many of the details. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and when we start the program, it shows a splash screen and then the main window. This uh, main window basically shows a welcome screen when you first come into the program that shows a list of recently opened files and then you can also click on the uh, new study to create a new study. This uses a wizard driven interface. And there's a number of study types you can do, a coverage study, FM interference, TV interference, DD ratio, duopoly study. The next page of the wizard shows your general setup for common to each study. You've got uh, terrain settings, uh, general geographic options, and land cover. Next, you specify the um, area of calculation that you're interested in, how far out do you want to calculate. Then you can put in any number of stations into the study. You can just use the add button here to add in one. Here's our general transmitter editor. You could type in all the information you had here if you had the call sign and the latitude, longitude and all that. There's also a load from FCC database button. Here we can search for a set of call letters or a city or a facility ID. You just type in what you want and hit the find button and it pulls up all the records that match that. So then you can just select any of the um, records on this list and hit OK and it's going to pull it right into our transmitter editor. So now you see all our parameters from the record have already been entered so we don't have to do that. There's a number of tabs at the top of here. The antenna tab shows the horizontal uh, radiation pattern that was loaded out of the FCC database. You can also specify a vertical pattern. There's a general information. Along the rice parameters, you can set all the model parameters here. We also support a number of propagation models. There's a little drop-down list here that lets you select which propagation model you want to look at. So for this uh, example, I'll just put in the one station and we'll continue. The last page is just says we're ready to go, so we hit finish, draws a map. Up at the top here, you'll see that it's calculating. The signal is uh, being calculated in the background, so we can actually still use the program as it's thinking, and then when it's done, it will pop up a window telling us so. So as you um, use these, these labels are interactive. You can pick them up, move them around, uh, change any of the text that you like do all this while it's thinking. So now it uh, pops up a window showing us that it's done with the uh, grid-based signal and asks if we want to redraw the map. We'll say yes. And now when this comes up, you will see that it's rendered our uh, Longley Rice map using the uh, cutoff specified. You can set these colors to be anything you want uh, and the cutoffs to be anything you want. We can use this globe icon up at the top to get to our map features here. You can set the colors and line styles for all the uh, different mapping layers. We'll turn off the roads to kind of clean up the map a little bit, see how that looks. Here you can add contours to a station by right-clicking on the call sign, and that brings us to our contour list. Here we can hit the Add button to add a contour. The first window that comes up is our contour properties, the field strength and such, and then the second window is your uh, plot properties like line width and color. Uh, various lots of options there. I'm going to skip over that. So now you can see our contour here so you can kind of compare and look at the difference between the Longley Rice 60 dBU and your FCC contour 60 dBU. The uh, next feature I'd like to show you is the zoom tool. You can select the magnifying glass and then uh, drag your mouse on the map over an area and it will zoom into the area that you selected so you can get a closer look at your uh, field strengths and whatever you're interested in on the map. You can also, if you right click with the zoom tool, it pulls up a window. Here for example, we told it to go back to the previous scale so we can get back to where we were. Um, the next tool is the terrain profile tool which allows you to see the uh, terrain on kind of a point-to-point -point basis. So what you can do is select this tool and then click on your transmitter token and then click anywhere else on the map and it will show you the terrain between those points. The red line here is your terrain, this green is your line of sight, the orange is your Fresnel zone, and then the blue line is your field strength as you move along that radial. Uh, and this graph is totally configurable. You can make it look however you like. The last thing I'd like to show you is the uh, population report. Uh, you can go to the report menu, choose population. Here you give it a field strength that you're interested in, and then you can do various styles of report. We'll do a county breakdown report. Um, there's a couple of options, and then you pick your POP database and then hit generate, and it's going to count our population 
in this case we chose the 60 dbu um, so the first part of the report shows the transmitter summary the uh, inputs basically the next part shows your uh, totals so you've got total population total housing units total area covered if you scroll down to the next section you will see an actual uh, county by county breakdown so you can see the the county total and then your stations coverage in that county and if you have multiple stations in here they'll all show up in this list and that concludes our quick look at probe 4 hopefully you got an idea of what it's all about even though we uh, really only just scratched the surface of what it can do Thanks for watching. If you'd like to have some more information, please proceed to our website, www.v-soft.com, and don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions.